<laughs> hey everybody, I'm here live with the Becky Bettinger, who is helping us out today, um, selling to businesses. And I selected Becky because last year uh, she really ran with us and sold a ton during the holiday season. So I knew that everyone on this um, Facebook Live would want to hear from Becky. So Becky, just to kind of kick us off, tell us a little bit about what you do besides Mary Kay, just so we kind of get to know you a little bit. I've been an in-home care provider for 31 years. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of kids. It I don't is. even like my own kids that much. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's okay. Right. So tell everybody, um, and I know, how long have you been with Mary Kay? Six years. Okay. So Becky's been a consultant for six years. So I feel like this last year was really the first year that you started running with um, you know, you really, really ran with selling to businesses. So tell everybody, like, what inspired you to really kind of start selling to businesses this last year? You know, I just thought that there was a great opportunity up in my area. Um, you know, we go out for, we go out to dinner quite a bit and up for coffee and stuff. I'm like, what, or, and I get my nails done. I'm like, what a better way to reach out to these owners of companies and give them a couple of ideas for Christmas gifts for their employees. Yeah, okay, so Christmas gifts for the employees of the places that you already frequent, that is brilliant. So mm -hmm. I would say that that's probably your first tip is looking into businesses that you're already using, your nail salon, you said your coffee, where you go out, um, you know, to, to lunch, to dinner, those kinds of places. Yeah. Um, so tell me about how you did it. Like, how did you start? Like, what, what did you do first? Actually, I've been really um, showcasing the places where I have facial boxes. Last year, I didn't have very many facial boxes out, and this year I have like 30. So what I will be doing is either calling them or going in with a little letter and a description of and maybe pictures of the um, gift boxes or gift bags that I will have ready and see what fits their, uh, whatever they want to do for their employees. Okay, so you're gonna have some examples, you're gonna mm -hmm. um, have a letter. Mm -hmm. um, what does the letter say? It just says, hey, I'm a daycare, or I, excuse me, that's, I'm doing daycare today. Hey, I'm a Mary Kay consultant. And if you need any help with Christmas shopping this year or for relatives or for employees, um, you know, I'm here to help with anything, uh, any price point, And I would be more than happy to wrap and deliver your purchases for you in plenty of time. Awesome. Well, that's simple, right? <laughs> And that's what we got to do sometimes is we got to keep it simple. Simple is best. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, um, so role play for me with me for a second. Now, first question I want to know, did you call anybody that just kind of like randomly out of the blue? That you know, I have called randomly out of the blue and sometimes it's paid off. And sometimes, you know, I know I have a list of people that I will be calling this year from last year, COVID and stuff, they weren't really doing any of that. So I have a list of companies that I will be contacting um, this year that I've called just out of the blue. Okay, so a little bit of both. Businesses you knew, businesses out of the blue. So role play with me for a second. Um, I'm a random nail salon in the area or a random coffee shop, okay? And yeah. you're calling me to ask me about my gift giving. What does that look like? All right. Hi, Emily, how are you today? Um, Good. Good, this is Becky Bettinger with Mary Kay. And I was just wondering if you have thought about any ideas for Christmas that you would be wanting to give your employees uh, this year? Have you thought of that yet? Oh gosh, it's October. I haven't even like given it a second thought yet, but that's kind of coming up. You know, it is. It's really coming up. And I would love to meet with you if you had an evening. And I do have some three or four different um, price points of gift uh, selections that I would love to help you out with. If you would like me to come and show you those gifts and any we do any uh, lotions, makeup, men's sets, 
uh, whatever. I'm your gal if you need any help with this. Awesome. I love that, Becky. That's so good. And then you just probably, you know, they tell you yay or nay, and then you book it with them. Um, is there anything that you're going to do differently this year? I know one of the things you shared with me and you shared it at the beginning of this. Um, so for those of you who don't know Becky, she's really um, built a lot of her business off of facial boxes or drawing boxes. And so as she's picking up and dropping off facial boxes, she's going to be talking to those businesses about their gift giving opportunities. So I would like to call that multitasking. Exactly. Love that. But is there anything else that you're going to do differently that, you know, would maybe help a consultant just starting out who wants to do this? You know, sometimes it's like people can learn from our mistakes or things that we would maybe do different or tweak. You know, you're and just going with 20 seconds of courage. If you, you know, and maybe too, if you go into businesses, bring your holiday basket so that that kind of breaks the ice and then just say, Hey, you know why I have some great Christmas ideas. If you would like me to come back and show you, you know, whatever you, your needs are. Um, yeah, just be yourself. And, you know, sometimes I do get nervous, you know, just cold calling or just going into a business, but, you just have to try because I don't believe in the word N-O. <laughs> that's why you're successful. So um, I know that one of the sales you made this last year, didn't you sell like 14? Um, what was it? I sold 14 sets to Dunn Brothers for two years in a row. And each set was the $40 set. And, wow! And this year I've gone in and I know she'll be buy, buying from me as well. And I don't know if it's going to be that much of a set because just I know um, uh, sales are down at that coffee shop. But she said she is more than willing to definitely look at what I have this year also. Mm -hmm. Well, and I would I would add that, you know, a lot of places are having trouble staffing people. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I would think that this year businesses are going to up their game a little bit on gift giving to their employees as a way to retain employees. So I think that this could be a huge opportunity for Becky and for everybody watching this, um, you know, to really up that. And I just, okay, I got to share this with you guys because this is so cool. Um, okay, so Becky, okay, here we go. Um, this was a fun letter that she got from the woman that she does gift giving and just how um, awesome Becky is and how much it meant to the Dunn brothers that she did this. And so this is something that Becky can now take um, to other businesses and say, you know, if you need a recommendation, here's, you know, a great review that I got from Dunn brothers coffee. So it's, I'm Mickey. Um, I'm writing this message to let you know that in the past few years, work with Becky for my employees for Christmas gifts. Becky has been nothing but wonderful. She not only did great on the presentation, but made my life so easy. Everything was wrapped and ready to go. Okay, we're going to be talking about that. Remember, wrapped and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Delivered in plenty of time. Second key. I mm -hmm. cannot say enough about Becky. So, um, Becky, we're so proud of you for... Thank you. Yes, just like leading the way um, in all of our units. And is there anything else that you would leave as advice for consultants um, up in this topic? Not really, but um, I'm middle of October after fall advance. I'm going to start hitting businesses and having the samples of the gifts and, and just trying to start in middle of October so that things are delivered maybe middle to end of November so that they can just have that done further mm -hmm. on their Christmas list. Yeah. So you do it mostly in October and just really quick, cause I'm sure someone's going to ask this or they, if they haven't already, um, what kind of price points have really worked for you? You know, I give them three, I do 20, 25, then like 30 and then like 45. They generally go for the middle for the 30 to 35 or 40. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome, Becky. Well, let's uh, thank you so much for sharing thank with you. us today. And we can't wait to watch you this year, just, you know, tearing it up in Northern Minnesota, selling to all, I mean, everybody in the North Metro is going to be beautiful this year with oh, all the gifts that you're doing. Thank so. you. I'm so glad that I was able to help out anyone. So good luck on holiday selling. Bye guys.
Bye.